Hello, Rebecca. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Fine. Thank you. Um, how was your week? Very nice and so busy. <laughs> nice but busy. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Sulma just joined us. Hello, Sulma. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start sharing the screen with you so we can begin the class. Okay, me confirma si pueden ver la pantalla, por favor. Can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Great, thank you. Jessica just joined us. Hello, Jessica. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, ladies, welcome. This is Inglés Intermedio Modulo 3, and uh, I am Ivan Doñan at your service once again. It's Intermediate 3, Session 12, and today is September 23rd of 2022, or 2022, as you prefer. So what are we going to do today? Well, we have to finish the topic we started this week, the models. And uh, we're going to have a review of the content from yesterday, but also we're going to study some new content and some new rules on the use of the models. So let's begin. By the end of this class, you will know and practice how to use models to express permission, obligation, prohibition, and also no obligation. So also uh, in this class, we're going to have a general review of uh, the use of all the models from this, um, say, unit. So let's begin. You have permission, prohibition, and obligation. Take a good look at this. So this is the same information from yesterday, OK? We're just studying it again. It's a good idea to study the information a second time. So when we want to express permission, prohibition, that means not allowing something, obligation or no obligation, we use modal verbs. How so? Well, to express permission, we can use can, may, and could. Now, can is most often used to ask for or give permission. Mm -hmm. Es para pedir permiso, pero también para dar permiso. Muy importante. Again, can is most often used to ask for and give permission. But may and could are also possible, even though they are not used as often as can. Ciro just joined us. Hello, Ciro. He's connecting his audio right now. OK, uh, you have some examples. The first one, Sulma, can you help me read this? The first example. OK. Can I borrow a pen? Can I borrow a pen? Okay. Yeah. What is the meaning? Uh, this is a question for everybody. Thank you, Surma. What is the meaning of borrow? Prestar. Prestar. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> Take a look. Um, there are two verbs that we use. And I'm going to show you. Just give me a moment. Okay, there it is. There are two verbs that you can use. And uh, in El Salvador, we say prestar, but sometimes we make a mistake right there. Okay, there is the verb lend, and then there is the verb borrow. Okay, so what about lend? Lend means prestar or tal prestado. What's the meaning of lend? Borrow means tomar prestado. There is a difference. Okay. When you lend something, you give something. And when you borrow something, you receive something. That's the difference. Okay. Se vuelve un poco confuso porque en El Salvador 
utilizamos la palabra prestar para referirnos a ambas cosas. Entonces, ahí se vuelve un poquito confuso. Si usted hace esta acción que es lend, entonces usted está dando algo a alguien en calidad de préstamo. ¿Verdad? No se lo está regalando, solo lo está prestando, se lo está dando a alguien. Y la otra persona que lo está recibiendo hace esta acción que es borrow. O sea que lo recibe prestado o lo toma prestado. Esa es la diferencia. Así que un poquito de cuidado con estos dos verbos, ¿verdad? Lend and borrow are two different things. Entonces cuando le dice, can I borrow a pen? Le está pidiendo prestado un bolígrafo, ¿verdad? So that's the difference. Ok, uh, Navy just joined us. Hello, Navy. Then, let's see, uh, Rebecca. Can you help me read the second sentence, please? You can sit here, the seat is free. Thank you. You can sit here, the seat is free. So what is that? This person is giving you permission, okay? The person is giving you permission. So in the first example, can I borrow a pen? You are asking for permission. Está pidiendo permiso. In the second sentence, the person is giving you permission. Le está dando permiso. So you can use can to ask for permission or give permission. Okay. The next one, please. Jessica, can you help me read this? Number three. Yes. Could open the window. Could I open the window? Okay, could I open the window? This person is asking for permission. Could I open the window? Some pronunciation, everybody. Take a look. Could. The L in could is silent. Okay. So we don't say could, we say could only, just like that. So it's kind of pronounced like this could. Okay, that's the pronunciation could. So, um, thank you, Jessica. Ciro, can you help me read the last example in this slide? Okay. May I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Thank you. May I ask a question? Okay, you are asking for permission to ask a question. Thank you very much. So, um, again, for permission, you use the model scan may and could and this is the last piece of information we studied yesterday we did an exercise we're not going to do the exercise again we have more exercises but not the same so let's continue with this now this is new information now we're going to study models of prohibition okay when you say mm -mm, no this is prohibitive it's not allowed Now look, can't, and mustn't, mustn't is the short form of must not, okay? Can't and mustn't are used to show that something is prohibited. That means not allowed, not permitted, okay? And you have some examples. Navy, can you help me read the first one, please? Um, you can go into that restaurant without a tie. You can't go into that restaurant without a tie. Okay, si usted trata de entrar al restaurante y no lleva corbata, no va a pasar de la entrada, ¿verdad? El vigilante le va a decir, no, lo siento. Las reglas son las reglas. Okay, entonces, you can't go into that restaurant without a tie. It's prohibited. It's not permitted. It's not allowed. So you can use can't in negative, of course, to express that something is not permitted. Something is prohibited. Okay? That's the idea. Now, what about the next example? Sulma, please. You can't drive in this country unless are over 18, 18. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
you can't drive in this country unless you are over 18. What is the meaning of unless? Who knows? What is the meaning of unless? Any ideas? Al menos, al menos. Al menos, cerca, pero no es al menos. Un poco. Mm, no, poco not really. Ciro, Ciro creo que, bueno, casi le pega porque las palabras son muy parecidas. Significa a menos que. Pero hay que tener cuidado okay. porque al, al menos es una cosa y a menos que es otra cosa. ¿verdad? Entonces, a menos que tenga 18 años. A menos que ah, sea mayor de 18. Over, en este caso, significa más, que sea mayor. So, you can't drive in this country unless you are over 18. If you are 17, sorry, you can't drive. It's against the law. Es contra la ley. Okay, so again, the example is you can't drive in this country unless you are over 18. No puede manejar en este país a menos que sea mayor de 18 años. Okay, para menores de edad, no. So, no sé qué país sea, ¿verdad? En El Salvador sí se puede. Pero en otros países quizás no. So, uh, the, next, the next one, please. Uh, who's going to help me read it? Um, Rebeca, please. You mustn't use your phone in class. You mustn't use your phone in class. Okay. When kids go to school, if they have a cell phone, right, the teacher will say, no, sorry, you mustn't use your phone in class. It's not permitted, okay? It's prohibited, okay? Before we continue, do you have any questions? No. No questions, okay, no problem. What about the next part? Take a look. Can't usually gives the idea of something that is against the rules. Hay que tener mucho cuidado, mucho cuidado con esto. A pesar de que ambos expresan una prohibición, el significado de esa prohibición difiere un poco entre uno y el otro. Can't usually gives the idea of something that is against the rules. O sea que usted va a decir can cuando algo va en contra de las reglas. Por ejemplo, en contra de la ley. Esa podría ser una. ¿Ok? Como en este caso, el primer ejemplo. You can't go into that restaurant without a tie. Esas reglas las hizo, no sé, el que dirige el restaurante, el gerente. Esa es la regla. ¿Ok? Entonces ocupamos can't. Pero ¿qué pasa con mustn't? Mustn't usually means that it is the speaker, ¿ok? Who is setting the rule. La misma persona que se lo está diciendo es quien ha decidido esa regla. Por ejemplo, un maestro le puede decir esto. Veamos. Jessica, can you read this? Jessica? Dígame. Ok. Can you read? <laughs> no problem. Can you read this, please? Final example. You must speak during the exam. You mustn't speak during the exam. Ahora, esta es una regla que al parecer la persona que está dirigiendo todo la ha impuesto. En este caso, el maestro. Si los ve platicando ahí a la hora del examen, le va a decir, hey, 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 hey. Ok, you mustn't speak during the exam. La misma persona que está hablando está imponiendo la prohibición. Ahí es que se ocupa mustn't. Pero si ya hay un, una serie de reglas establecidas, entonces lo mejor es ocupar can't. ¿Ok? Otro ejemplo en el que se puede ocupar mustn't es, para los que ya son padres de familia, no sé si tienen hijos, me imagino, más de alguno debe tener. Eh, cuando ustedes les hablan a sus hijos y les dicen qué no pueden hacer. En ese caso, ¿qué van a ocupar? ¿Van a ocupar can't o van a ocupar mustn't? Uh -huh. Mustn't. Mustn't, así es, porque son ustedes mismos, o sea, el hablante, quien está imponiendo la regla. Cuando las reglas ya están establecidas de antemano, lo mejor es ocupar can't. 
De acuerdo. So, again, you say, you can't touch the ball with your hand when you're playing soccer. Ok. Esta es una regla del fútbol. Uno no se inventa la regla a medio partido. No, ya está establecida la regla. Entonces, you can't touch the ball with your hand when you're playing soccer. If you touch the ball with your hand, oh, there is a problem. And the second one, you mustn't speak during the exam. This is a prohibition by the person who is speaking. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, no. Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Los demás, unos tienen la cámara, les miro cara de confusión. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Okay. No problem. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Maya, pues. All right. So again, for prohibition, you use can't or mustn't. Now, let's talk about models of obligation. Have to and must are both used to express obligation. And you have some examples. The first one, Ciro, please help me read the first example. So, uh, excuse me, teacher, what? The first example. The, the first, okay. Mm -hmm. We have to be at this airport at least. At least. At least, y aquí sigue, ¿verdad? Two hours before the flight. Aha, we have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. And what is the meaning of at least? Ahí sí creo que Ciro va a tener la respuesta correcta. <laughs> what is the meaning of at least? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know? What is the meaning of at least? Two hours. Ajá. Pero ¿qué significa at least? Al menos. Al menos. Dos horas así es. Antes. Correcto. Dos horas antes. Ahí sí, mire. Ahí sí, eso significa al menos. Le pegué a una. <laughs> le pegó. A, le, le pegó antes de tiempo, digamos. <laughs> so. We have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. Tenemos que estar en el aeropuerto al menos dos horas antes del vuelo. Okay? We have to be. This expresses necessity and obligation. Si usted no llega dos horas antes, mmm, no creo que lo esperen. Va a tener que pasar por seguridad y todos esos controles y para todo eso se le va a ir el avión. Okay? Entonces ahí le dice, we have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. This Se is queda obligation. Queda en tierra. Se queda en tierra. <laughs> no. Okay. Maria Ayala. Hello. Can you help me read this example, please? Number two. Okay. I have to work on Saturday. I have to work on Saturday. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. This is obligation. I have to work on Saturday. No es que si quiero, no quiero. Tengo que trabajar. So I have to work on Saturday. All right. Do you have to work on Saturday? Let's see. Me? Uh, no. Yes, yes, Maria. Do you have to work on Saturday? No. No, no. not really. No. And you, uh, Ciro, do you have to work on Saturday? Ciro? Hello, teacher. Hello. Do you have to work on Saturdays? Work is on Saturday. Uh -huh. No, Saturdays is day off for me. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, Jessica, do you have to work on Saturdays? Yes, teacher. Okay. Rebecca, do you have to work on Saturdays? No, teacher. Okay. And you, Sulma, do you have to work on Saturdays? Yes. Okay. Well, me too. <laughs> I have to work on Saturdays. <laughs> Así que mañana no hay descanso, hay que trabajar. <laughs> ah. Son los afortunados. Sorry. Los afortunados descansan el sábado. Okay. So, I have to work on Saturday. It's an obligation. 
All right. The next example. Sulma, can you help me read it, please? Number three. They have to wear their uniform at school. They have to wear their uniforms at school, like in the picture. Look at the kids. They have to wear their uniforms. They can't wear casual clothes. No, it's against the rules. They have to wear their uniforms. OK? All right. What about the next one? Let's see. Who's going to help me? Mayra Portillo. The next one, please. Number uh, four. Teacher, me voy, me voy conectando porque no tenía luz. Se me fue el internet. Híjole, pero eh, puede ver la pantalla. Sí, sí, la estoy viendo okay. ya, pero no, no entiendo ahí qué onda. Ah, nada más si me ayuda a leer el, el ejemplo número cuatro que estoy señalando okay. con el puntero. Ok. I must hand in, in my thesis by tomorrow. I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow. Hand in is a phrasal verb. Hand in means, means entregar. I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow. Tengo que entregar mi tesis mañana. O para antes de mañana. So I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow. It's an obligation. You say I must express this obligation. Thank you. Uh, Nady, what about example five? Um, we have to finish this uh, report today. We have to finish this report today. Okay, we have to, it's an obligation. We have to finish this report today. And the last one, let's see. Um, um, Rebecca, please. I must be a good citizen. 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 I must be a good citizen. No, tengo que ser un buen ciudadano, right? I must be a good citizen. So again, you use have to and must to express obligation, okay? Is this clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. Let's continue. <laughs> we have studied obligation. We have to cover this too. Look, don't have to versus mustn't. Mucho cuidado acá, fíjense bien. Si decimos que para obligación vamos a ocupar have to y vamos a ocupar must, podríamos fácilmente deducir que sus formas en negativo significan exactamente lo contrario, pero no es exactamente así. Fijémonos bien, existe don't have to y existe mustn't, pero no son exactamente lo contrario a have to y must. Ya vamos a ver cómo funciona. Now look, we use don't have to to show that there is no obligation you can do something if you want but it is not an obligation if you want to do it okay if you don't want to do it okay no problem and we have an example jessica can you help me read the first example you don't have to wear a tea a tie. To go, a tie, a tie. To go to the restaurant. 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 Sigo. Mm -hmm. Please. But the ball be nice. It would be nice. You don't have to wear a tie to go to that restaurant, but it would be nice. Okay? It would be nice. So, wearing a tie is optional. So, if you go to the restaurant with a tie, is there a problem? Mm -hmm. What do you think? If you go into the restaurant and you are wearing a tie, is there a problem? ¿Habrá algún problema si lleva la corbata? Is there a problem? No problem. No problem. And if, if you don't wear the tie, like me today, okay? If you don't wear a tie and you go to the restaurant, is there a problem? Mm -hmm. What do you think? No problem too. No problem either, okay? 
En este caso sería either, que es tampoco. Ok, so no problem either. Exactly, it's optional. If you want to wear the tie, good for you. If you don't want to wear the tie, good for you. You decide, it's up to you. It's optional. Ahí es que se ocupa don't have to. Cuando algo no es obligación. Si usted lo quiere hacer, bueno. Y si no lo quiere hacer, también. No hay problema. No hay consecuencia. Ok. So, second example. Let's see. María Ayala, please. Voy, 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 voy. Ah, um, student don't have to wear uniform to school. Mm -hmm. Students don't have to wear uniforms to school. In many schools in the United States, for example, especially public schools in the United States, students don't have to wear uniforms. Right? Ya se han visto en escuelas más que todo en escuelas públicas en otros países como en Estados Unidos, los alumnos no necesitan llevar uniformes. A nadie lleva porque no es obligación. So students don't have to wear uniforms to school. That means wearing a uniform is optional. No problem. So again, look at this. When you use have to, you express an obligation. But when you say don't have to, you express no obligation. You express that something is optional only. But be very careful right here because we're going to learn how to use mustn't. We use mustn't to show that something is not permitted. When you use mustn't, that is prohibited. Okay? Mustn't means that something is prohibited. It's not permitted. Okay? First example. Mayra, please. You, you must wear mustn't? short. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mustn't? You, you mustn't. You mustn't wear short to go to that restaurant. Uh -huh. You mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. I have a question. Everybody, look at this. I have a question. If I wear shorts and I go to that restaurant, is there a problem? What do you think? If I am wearing shorts and I want to go to the restaurant, is there a problem? I think, I think no, no problem. No problem. Yes, no problem. Yes, yes, there is a problem. The answer is yes, there is a problem because they told you you mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. What is the meaning of that? It's prohibited. In this case, because the restaurant is the rule. There is a rule at the restaurant, correct. Yeah. Okay, so they say you mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. Si usted lo ven queriendo entrar ahí en calzonetado al restaurante, le van a, ahí mismo lo van a detener. No, no puede. Okay, you mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. Ahí ya no hay opción. Es una prohibición. Very careful. What about the next one? Let's see who's going to help me next. Um, Nady, please. Can you help me read? Oh, sorry. Um, you mustn't speak during the exam. Mm -hmm. You mustn't speak during the exam. That means speaking during the exam is prohibited. Okay. Entonces, recapitulando acá, si usted utiliza have to y must, eso se expresa en una obligación o una necesidad muy fuerte. ¿De acuerdo? Mustn't implica prohibición y don't have to implica que es algo es opcional. Si usted quiere, lo hace. Si no quiere, no lo hace. No hay problema. Ok. Before we continue. Do you have any questions? No questions? 
Is this clear? It's clear. It's clear. Yes, okay. All right. Well, we're going to do an exercise now. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Let's see what time is it? 831. Yes, we can do this. Okay, we have this exercise. This is your turn. Choose the correct words to complete the sentences. We're going to work in the breakout rooms now. We have seven participants. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to create three groups. Okay, in the first room, we have Mayra Portillo, Navy Ivis Mendez, and Rebecca Estefania. In room two, we have Maria Ayala Rivas and Sulma Beatriz Perez. And in room three, we have Ciro Mira and Jessica Rosales. Okay, I'm going to open the groups, but before I'm going to explain the exercise. Choose the correct word to complete the sentences. You mustn't or you don't have to apologize. It isn't necessary. Okay, look at this. Como dice acá, it isn't necessary. So which one do you think it is? Mustn't or don't have to? Don't have to. Don't have to apologize. Let's no see. Obligación. Mm -hmm. Don't have to. ¿Por qué? Porque no es necesario. No te tenés que disculparles. No es necesario. You don't have to apologize. It isn't necessary. Correct. Very good. So what are you going to do? I want you to work uh, work in the breakout rooms. I'm going to open them now and I'm going to send you the screenshot via WhatsApp. Okay, let's begin. Okay, everybody, you can check the WhatsApp chat. The exercise was sent in the chat. I'm going to start uh, visiting the, the breakout rooms now. So let's begin. Hi. 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 Okay. Ah, como que no estoy aquí. <laughs> you need to communicate. You need to talk. Uh -huh. Um, for number two. Mm -hmm. um, you, you mustn't tell the boss what's happening or he will fire you. He will fire you. What is the meaning of fire? ¿Qué significa fire, fire en, esta, en esta oración? What is the meaning of fire? Um, despedir. Despedir, o... ajá, exacto. Uh -huh, Entonces, ¿cuál será? <laughs> Mustn't or don't have to. Tell the boss what happened or he will fire you. Correct. You mustn't you tell mustn't. the boss what happened or he will fire you. Uh, correct. Very good. Okay. Okay. What about number three? Um, number three. No, I don't have to wear a tie. Don't have. I don't have to wear a tie. Mm -hmm. I do it because I like wearing this. ties. 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 Mm -hmm. So is it I mustn't or I don't have to? I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. Okay. I don't have to wear a tie. 
I do it because I like wearing ties. Eso me la pongo porque me gusta ponerme corbatas. Okay. So, correct. I don't have to wear a tie. Very good. Okay. Um, ladies, please continue. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Okay. Mm. Debe tener de las cinco está algo confusa. No sé sí. si siempre quedaría en don't have to porque no le dice. Ah, sí. Pero es más importante va. It's the most important extraño. meeting of most. the year. The most Ajá. important. No sé. Porque él está poniendo la regla va. Mm -hmm. El hablante. Ajá. Ajá. El hablante es la misma persona, se refiere a sí mismo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, en este caso, uh -huh. I mustn't be late. It's I the mustn't. most important meeting of the year, ¿verdad? Lo mejor es que de plano no llegue tarde, así que I mustn't be late. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mustn't be late. Very good. Okay. okay. What about number six? Siempre sería tu Let's see, number six. You mm -hmm. mustn't, mustn't or you don't have to go now. You can stay a little longer. Mm -hmm. eh, don't have to, porque es como... Eh, no sé si no es obligación, pero le está diciendo de que como recomendando. ¿no? Mm -hmm. Le está diciendo que puede quedarse un poco más de tiempo. Así que no es necesario que se vaya. Aún. Necesario. Entonces sería don't have to. You don't, don't have, have to, to go to. now. You can stay a little longer, right? Puedes quedarte un poco más. Ok, nice. Ok, okay ladies, please continue. I'm going to okay. go into a different room now. See you later. See you later. See you later, teacher. Y la, y la... Tenemos tiempo suficiente. Ajá. Don't have to. Mm -hmm. Okay. La nueve. We count more. There enough food. There is enough food. The number nine is uh, we must say. We must say. Good morning. Uh -huh. You must say. Good morning. There are enough food. There is enough food. Ah, no, ah, no. Entonces ahí debería ser no debes de cocinar más porque tenemos suficiente comida. Mm -hmm. So, is it we mustn't, mustn't or don't have to? Don't have to. Don't have to. Okay, yeah. that's right. We don't have to cook more. There's enough food. Sí, no, que ya no cocine porque tenemos comida suficiente. Mm -hmm. En otras palabras, ya no tiene por qué hacerlo. ¿eh? Ahora, Correcto. si usted tiene de cocinar más, bueno, cosa suya. Pero... No es necesario. So, it's optional. It's optional. We don't have to cook more. There's enough food. Very good. What about number 10? Uh, just, just, you don't, don't have to put salt in the food. The doctor say they can eat salt. She can't eat salt. Yeah. So, is it mustn't or don't have to? Well, mm -hmm. I know this in two, teacher. Ah, okay. So, what is the correct form in this case? Number 10, mustn't or don't have to? Uh, I think for me, it's don't have to. Don't have to. Okay, let's see the next line. Veamos la siguiente línea. 
the doctor said she can't eat salt. Mustn't. Mustn't. This is a prohibition. Si el doctor dijo que no puede comer sal, entonces no lo vayan a poner, ¿verdad? You mustn't. Uh -huh. You mustn't put salt in her food. The doctor said she can't eat salt. So, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. I'm going to uh, close the breakout rooms now. See you in a minute. Okay. Everybody, I'll be closing the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Ten seconds. Okay, everybody, take a look. We're going to check the exercise. Number two, volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? Number two. Raise your hand. Rebecca. You mustn't tell the boss what happened or he will fire you. Correct. You mustn't tell the boss what happened or he will fire you. Good. Thank you, Rebecca. Number three, volunteer, please. Raise your hand. Navy. And number four, uh, Maria Ayala, okay, Nady. Um, I, I don't, I don't have to wear a tie. I do it because I like wearing the tights. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't have to wear a tie. I do it because I like wearing ties, but it's not necessary. Thank you, Nady. Number four, Maria. Okay. Uh you must you mustn't smoke in here. Smoking is not allowed. Mm -hmm. You mustn't smoke in here. Smoking is not allowed. Very good, Maria. Thank you. Number five, volunteer, please. Anybody can say la manita ahí, Maria. Tiene la manita levantada. Okay, Sulma. Number five. Okay. Uh, I mustn't. Uh, I mustn't be late. It's the most important meeting of the year. Correct. I mustn't be late. It's the most important meeting of the year. Very good. Thank you, Sulma. Number six. A volunteer, please raise your hand. Who wants to participate? Jessica. You don't have to go now. You can stay a little longer. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go now. You can stay a little longer. Puedes quedarte un poquito más de tiempo. So you can stay a little longer. So you don't have to go now. Correct. Thank you, Jessica. Number seven. Who wants to do number seven? Who wants to try? Ciro. 
Yes. Visitors to the zoo don't have to feed the animals. Visitors to the zoo don't have to feed the animals. Hmm, are you sure? Is it is it permitted? Is it permitted to feed the animals to give food to the animals? Visitors to the zoo mustn't. Mm -hmm. Visitors to the zoo mustn't feed the animals, ¿verdad? En los zoológicos no se permite darle comida a los animales, por lo tanto es prohibido. Okay. Visitors to the zoo mustn't feed the animals. Thank you, Ciro. What about number eight? Volunteers, please. Number eight. Number eight. Come on. Sin miedo, vamos. Lo peor que puede pasar es que nos equivoquemos. Y si nos equivocamos, igual aprendemos. Jessica, and then zero for number nine. You do have two drivers so fast we have a lot of time. You don't have to drive so fast. We have a lot of time. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Jessica. Number nine, zero. Zero? Zero wanted to participate, no? Okay, teacher, okay, sorry. okay. My, my microphone is closed. Ah, ah. We okay. must send good more. There's enough food. But there is enough food, so. Mm -hmm. What? Is what it, say, teacher? Number nine, is it we mustn't or we don't have we to? We mustn't cook more than you know food. Uh huh. I said we mustn't. Mustn't. Um, probably not. It's a bit different. <laughs> uh huh. Como dice al final, dice, there is enough food, hay suficiente comida. Yeah. Así que... We don't have to. We don't have to. Uh -huh. yeah. We don't have to cook so, more. So, there is enough food. Don't worry, sorry, don't worry. In this, in this moment, I drive, I drive my car. You're driving, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, my, and my phone is connected. Ok, no, pero mire, si quiere mejor eh, a, llegue a su casa y <ríe> no, vaya a ser, no vaya a ser que por estarle preguntando pase algo malo, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, ok, vale. Ok, number 10, volunteer, please. Mi jefe, mi, mi, mi tuya. Oh my God, no, <ríe> I'm the teacher, not the boss. Ok, Mayra. You, you, you must, mustn't put salt, salt in her food. The doctor said she Seven. can say mm -hmm. she can't eat salt. So. Uh -huh. Good. That's right. You mustn't put salt in her food. The doctor mm -hmm. said she can't eat salt. Okay. It's prohibited. Le hace daño. Así que no le ponga sal. Okay, good. Thank you. So that's the difference between mustn't and don't have to. Now we're going to do a mixed exercise. Everybody, take a look. Esta vez estamos combinando todo lo visto en esta clase. Okay, choose the correct form to complete the sentences. Number one, you don't have to or you mustn't come to the meeting, but it will help us all if you are there. I need a volunteer. Is it don't have to or mustn't? Jessica. Mustn't. You mustn't come to the meeting. Veamos que dice después. But it will help us if you are there. It will help us all, I'm sorry, if you are there. Nos ayudaría que estuviera ahí, ¿verdad? Don't have it too. You don't have to, okay, correct. It's not an obligation, but if you go, it will be good, okay? 
Se, no tienes que llegar a la reunión, pero nos ayudaría mucho si lo hiciera, si llegara, ¿verdad? So, you don't have to. Thank you very much. What about number two? I can't get a connection on my phone. Can I? Sorry, there's a mistake here. I need to correct. I'm sorry. Uh, just give me one moment. Just a second. Okay. And this. Okay, so I can't get a connection on my phone. Can I borrow yours or do I have to borrow yours? Sulma. Do I have to borrow yours? Do I have to borrow yours? But when you say have to, we're talking about obligation. Pero no sé si entendí mal, dijo usted que también era una necesidad. Ah, uh -huh. puede ser. Pero en este caso, okay. más bien, uh, si se acuerda, estamos ocupando el verbo borrow, que es uh -huh. recibir o tomar prestado. Entonces, le estará pidiendo uh -huh. más bien permiso. Sí. Ajá. Sí, Entonces, permiso, ¿qué nos quedaría? Uh -huh. Sí. Can I? Can I borrow yours? Uh -huh. Así es. Así. Okay. Can I borrow yours? Okay. Very good. Thank you. What about number three? I need a volunteer, please. The rules say that you uh, have to only invite one person to the club or can only invite one person to the club. Okay. Rebecca. The rules say that you have to only invite one person to the club. Mm-hmm. But, sí, estamos hablando de reglas, sin embargo, eh, tenemos have to, que usted tiene que invitar a una persona nada más. Suena un poco dura esa regla, ¿verdad? Más bien la regla es que usted puede invitar, pero a una persona nomás. Entonces nos quedaría. Sí. You can, ajá, eso es lo permitido. The rules say that you can only invite one person to the club. If you want to invite two, sorry, you can't. What about number four? Thank you, Rebecca. Number four. I must stay on for a few hours because I would prefer to work late today than during the weekend, or I can stay on for a few hours before I prefer to work late today than during the weekend. What well, será? I must. I must. That's right. I think. I think. <laughs> I must. Yeah, totally. I must stay on for a few hours because I'll prefer to work late today than during the weekend. Okay, good. Thank you. What about number five? There is a lot of noise coming from outside. Could I close the window or must I close the window? Which one is correct? Cool. Could, that's right. Could I close the window? Very good. What about number six? You have to start saving money if you want to retire early, or you can start saving money if you want to retire early. How about this one? Navy. Um, you have to start saving money if you want to retire early. To retire early. Good. That is correct. You have to start saving money if you want to retire early. Very good. Thank you, Navy. What about number seven? Didn't they tell you that you don't have to 
come into this area is restricted to staff only or didn't they tell you that you can't come into this area it's restricted to staff only which one is correct don't have to or can't 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 says Mayra correct can't because it's restricted to staff only okay and the last one we have to or we can be there 15 minutes before the concert starts have to jessica says well Je well jessica was raising her hand can uh can Escuché dos respuestas por ahí. Una era have to y la otra can. ¿Cuál será? Have to. Have to, sí. veamos. We have to be there 15 minutes before the concert starts. Si no, ya no hay, no hay ni puesto. Ok, uh -huh. so we have to be there 15 minutes before the concert starts. Ok, another exercise. Complete the sentences with the phrases from the box. So actually with, give me a moment. Oh no, just a second, please. Okay. 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 So the family can't decide where to go on vacation. They, and then you have the options, go to Los Angeles or they go to Hawaii. So which one is correct? May and are able to, could or couldn't, or might and may. Which one is correct? En cada uno de los botones están las dos posibles que pueden ir acá. Por ejemplo, si fuera esta, may iría aquí y en el otro, are able to. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál de las tres es correcta para completar esta oración de abajo? Might and may. Might and may, says Zulma. Let's check. That is correct. Very good. They might go to Los Angeles or they may go to Hawaii. That's possible. Thank you. How about the next one? The little girl asked, mommy, blah, blah, blah. I have a cookie. And the mother said, yes, you, blah, blah, blah. So what is that? Can and can, may and might, or can and are able to? Can and can. Can and can't. Okay, mm -hmm. let's check. That's right. Okay, very good. Mommy, can I have a cookie? And the mother said, yes, you can. Nice. How about the next one? I'm going to bring an umbrella today because it might rain, is able to rain, or can rain. Might. Possibility. It's a possibility. Might. Okay. That is correct. And solo una persona me está contestando ahorita. Veamos. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó con los demás? It might rain. Very good. That's the answer. Very, very good. What about the next one? George is absent from class today. He is able to be sick, can be sick, or could be sick. Oh, could. One. Let's see. That is correct. He could be sick. It's possible that he's sick. Very good. What about the next one? Am I able to borrow your dictionary? Might I borrow your dictionary? Or may I borrow your dictionary? Mm 
Mm -hmm. May. May I? May I borrow your dictionary? That is correct. Very good. And for the last one, you may leave if you have finished the exam. You might leave if you have finished the exam or you are able to leave if you have finished the exam. I'm sorry? The second one. The second one, might. might. Let's see. Mm -mm, I it's think not mine. No. no, sorry. The, the fear, my. The first one, may. May is correct because the teacher is given permission for the students to leave if they have finished the exam. Okay. So, um, aquí muy, muy rapidito porque se nos acabó el tiempo. Solo para recapitular. Rápido, rápido. Aquí. La diapositiva se trabó. ¿En qué momento se trabó? Ahí va. Okay. Permission, you can use can for permission to ask for and give permission. Example, can I sit here? You can use my car if you like. Can I make a suggestion? You can also use could for permission. Now, be careful because we can use could to ask for permission para pedir permiso, but not to give it. No se ocupa para dar permiso. Okay, could is more formal and polite than can. Examples, could I ask you something? Could I interrupt? Could I borrow your pen for a moment, please? And may, may is the most formal way to ask for and give permission. May I see your passport, please? Customers may request a refund within a period of 30 days. These pages may be photocopied for classroom use. That's permission. What about prohibition? You use can't. We use can't to talk about something that is against the rules, particularly when we didn't make the rules. Examples, what does the sign say? Oh, we can't park here. You can take photos in the museum. They are really strict about it. Sorry, we can't sell knives to under 18s. Mustn't, we use mustn't particularly when the prohibition comes from the speaker. Example, a parent to a child, un padre o madre a su hijo o hija. You mustn't say things like that to your sister. From a teacher to a student, you mustn't be late to class. I mustn't let that happen again. What about deduction? You can use must. We use must when we are certain about something. We studied this yesterday. Roxanne has worked in this company for 25 years. She must know most people here. Ronald studies all the time. He must get good grades. He has two private jets. He must be rich. What about Kent? It's the opposite. We use can't when we are sure that something is not true, when something is impossible. Examples, they moved into this neighborhood last week. They can't know many people. Where is Allison? I need to talk to her. She left a minute ago. She can't be far away. And you just had dinner. You can't be hungry. And the final slide, obligation and no obligation. Have to, have to express this obligation. We have to wear a uniform at school. From a student to the teacher, when do we have to hand in our homework? Mike has to work tomorrow, so he can't come. What about must? must expresses a strong obligation or necessity. It often shows us that the obligation comes from the speaker. <clears throat> Examples, I must phone my dad, must call my dad. It's his birthday today. From a teacher to a student, 
you must hand in your homework on Tuesday and assign on a plane. Un letrero en un avión. Seat belts must be worn by all passengers. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, cinturones de seguridad tienen que ser utilizados por todos los pasajeros. And then you have don't have to. Don't have to shows that there is no obligation. Example, you don't have to go to the bank to do a transfer. You can do it online. Ahora, si usted quiere ir al banco a hacer la transferencia, está bien, pero no es necesario. Puede hacerlo desde la aplicación del teléfono. O se mete al sitio web y ahí pone la información. Entonces, no es necesario. Por eso le dice, don't have to. You don't have to go to the bank to do a transfer. You can do it online. Okay, everybody, it's 9-7. We need to finish now. We have to finish now. <laughs> Yes. Es una pregunta, es que Dígame. No sé si me perdí o qué, uh -huh. pero en los ejercicios anteriores este, estuvo poniendo dentro de las alternativas la palabra are, mm. are able to. No sé. Are able to. Ok. Por lo que dijo, no, no. Ah, okay. No se preocupe. Eso es be able to. En el caso puede ser am, is o are, ¿verdad? Porque esa es la conjugación del verbo. Be able to es otra manera de decir can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Es lo mismo que can. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, she is able to, voy a hacer más pequeño esto para que quepa, ride a bike. She is able to ride a bike. Es lo mismo que decir he can ride a bike. Okay. Es la misma idea. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. If you don't have any more questions, we're going to finish here. Everybody, uh, with this, we finished the uh, section four of the, uh, let's see, the platform. So please, everybody, ya tendría que estar listo todo en la plataforma en la parte 4 hasta el ejercicio 4.10, ¿verdad? El día lunes comenzamos ya con la sección 5, ¿ok? Vamos a la sección 5 y al examen final del curso. Terminaríamos, primero Dios, el jueves, a menos que suceda algo, ¿verdad? Otra, no sé, emergencia, alerta roja, esperemos que no. Eh, terminaríamos el día jueves. Okay, so everybody, thank you for being here. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.